Welcome to the channel, welcome to my garage. Uh, this was supposed to be in, uh, a quick update on the on the Land Rover. I was supposed to be doing a video showing you how it's now running perfect. Everything's golden, ready for its MOT. Job done, all smiley faces. But no, it didn't quite work out like that. Um, it was running absolutely perfect. It had all the power it needed, it was supposed to have. There was no smoke other than a little bit of black smoke when you when you first put your foot down which is normal on them and i was happy and i was literally just about to grab my phone book it in for an mot and do a quick walk around video showing blah 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 this that and the other and then i fired it up and took it for one last spin down the road and it started smoking constantly again black smoke this time like it was over fueling uh quite bad and uh, my heart sunk, I'll be honest with you. Of the work I've put into this, and now there's something else wrong with it. And uh, it was still running fine, but a little bit knocky. Obviously, the fueling problem. So I pulled the injectors out, and I'll uh, I'll spin the camera around in, in a second, and I'll show you what I found. Uh, it's something nothing really it's not a major problem it's not a major headache it's just work i could do without doing to be honest i was i was all set for getting this out of the garage done and sold but uh yeah i'll uh i'll spin around and i'll show you as you see i've took the injectors out um first port of call one of the easiest things to do take the injectors out have a look and if I get the torch, when I mean, you can see, well, I'll go down this this uh, number four. If I can get the camera in there, see the copper washer still in there, and down the bottom you can see the top of the injector shroud, and the crush washers haven't been doing their job because there's a lot of soot in there. Um, because it should be a little crush washer right down in the bottom. I've took that out, but so uh, I've got some new ones of them. But this is where the problem starts. If you look down that one, the top of the heater shroud, there's a big chunk out of it. So that's not doing its that's not do that's not doing its job properly. Uh, but the crush washer sealed, so that's one thing I suppose. That one you can't really see down that one too well. The washer's not done its job at all. This one, the washer. And the shroud have disappeared. See if I can get that in a bit of better light for you. They've dropped down into the pre-combustion chamber. So I suspect what's happened is when I've um, put the injector in, tightened the injector down, it's just moved the uh, the shroud slightly, and it stayed there for a little while. And then as I was driving, it's dropped out and it's dropped down into there. So the head's got to come off again. New shrouds in there, and I don't think you can buy these ones. I think the, the shrouds you have to buy for these, from what I can figure out now, are off the 2.5 naturally aspirated diesel. But uh, I'll, do, I'll do a bit more. I'll phone Bear Mac. Uh, it's Saturday now. I'll phone him Monday and uh, and uh, see what the info was on is on there, and see what I can get. But yeah, that's where we're at. Bit of a kick in the nudges, to be honest. But these things, these things happen, I suppose. Apart from that, it was running perfect. It was running absolutely perfect. But these things happen, don't they? I say it's not. It's not the end of the world. It's just, it's just a day's work I could have done without messing around. With. Uh, that's hoping that the hot spots come out and all the shrouds come out perfect um, but I'll replace all the lot in one of the earlier videos you see the hot spots were slightly cracking which is normal and they will run fine with that rule of thumb if you can get your nail in it then they need changing but these ones these ones was fine um, but now they've got to come out anyway 
I may as well, I may as well change them. They're not that expensive. I think they're about twenty pound pop from Bearman. So yeah, I'll get the head off and uh, again. It's got to be the third time I've took this head off now. Yeah, I'll get that get that done and we'll have another look. So thirty minutes later, heads off. I've taken them to um, hot spots out and I've tapped out the injector shrouds that's all it is sits in goes in from from um, the injector side I'll I'll, uh, I'll show you how I, how I got them out in a minute I'm going to change all of them now I've got it I've got it in bits so I'm just going to change all the lot see if I can get that in focus look that's pretty much what it should look like except for it's got that little Come on, zoom in. There you go. Got the focus. It's got that little notch out of it there. So it's it's no good. Rubbish bin. Now the other one. Should I find it? Here we go. Right. As you can see, that's what it should look like. And that is what I've got. It's been in there, and it's obviously battered around. And it's uh, it's been it's been burnt. Tell by the colour of it, it's like a uh, I don't know. It's like it's like got a it's silver with a red tinge, silvery grey with a red tinge, almost a metallic colour. Uh, so you can tell it's been burnt. And it's been battered, and that should be on there like that. But it's not. So bin and bin. Right. Bear with me a second, I'll show you how I got them out. Uh, it's fairly simple actually, really, stra really straight simple. You see the hot spots, uh, uh, get you in focus again. You can see it's got little cracks in it. Nothing major, the engine will run perfect with them little cracks in. But eventually, what you have to be aware of is they will travel. And uh, then bits will start falling off and dropping into your engine. Um, so yeah, that's got to, it's got to come out. It's covered in oil because it's been, it, it was underneath, underneath the, the, the cylinder head when I tipped the head upside down and all the oil struggle into it. Uh, but yeah, that one's probably the worst. But that is the one where the shroud dropped into. So I don't know if that's just got a bit hotter or something because it weren't that bad when I put the head on. So I wonder if it's got a bit hotter and it's just with it not firing properly, not burning the fuel properly. Right, I'll, I'll get in a position where I can show you how I, how I got these out. Right, what I've got is a screwdriver. It needs to be, let me get the torch on there so you can see. It needs to be small enough, get it in the light, so it goes through that little hole there. Um, and if you're reusing the, the hot spots, a soft, something soft metal would be better, so. What I've got, I mean these hot spots are going in the bin anyway, so what I've got is just a little cheap, um, just a little cheap like pound shop uh, electrical screwdriver. They're soft, you know, they bend like butter. Put that down so it goes through and you'll feel, what you'll feel is them little uh, little bits on the bottom so try and if like i said if you're reusing them try and feel your way around so you're not on directly on one of them you don't have to use a big hammer but and then just tap it's coming out Plunk. and she's out see that's why you need to um, get the torch again use a soft don't get you in the in, in focus you see I've bent them little uh, little bits that protrude out and I'm sure they're there to agitate the, the fuel air mix to mix it inside um, 
when when the fuel and the air is going through. Right, I'll do that on this one. I'll show you what I used to get the uh, get the shrouds out. A lot of people they start panicking or oh, these new hot spots. This oh, it's a nightmare. This and the other. Not really. There we go. Plop. That one came out a lot easier. What you might have to do as well is uh, if you see the little notch out of it there. Let me touch again. The uh, there's a little notch out the top where a little roll pin. Um, sort of holds it in place, stops you from rotating. You, you might replace them while you're at it. Right. I apologise for the state of the workbench at the minute. I was, I was just getting ready to uh, do some organising. I've got a lot of old tools that I don't use anymore. Um, and I was uh, sort of donating them to a friend. And uh, I was sorting, I was sorting through everything when I've had to take this apart again. Well, this will have another good clean before it goes back on. Right, and then I've got this is um, out of one of these. It's a dial gauge mount for yeah, just a, just another cheap one off of eBay. That's usually um, that usually sits in there and screws into the magnet base. This is just this is just a, just an old cheap one and it broke. So what I did was take the take the ball out the bottom of it, and that sits perfect in the uh, in the shroud. The manual, actually, I don't think it, it does this in the Haynes manual, but the Land Rover workshop manual, it does actually say to use, I think it's a 13 or 14 millimetre ball bearing. So we put that on there so it sits in the shroud nicely. Then I have got just a little quarter inch extension, because that it sits where the little little threaded bit is there. It sits in there. And don't don't roll about. Don't roll about and slide off. Make sure I'm not on anything that's going to bend if I hit it. And this might take a bit of forcing to get it out. They are pretty fast in there. They don't like to come out. Yeah, it's coming out now. Try not to hit your fog like I just did. See that one, in all honesty, it probably could have stayed in there. Um, really, didn't really need to take that out. But as... As I'm sure they've all done the the same mileage. You can see where this is like. Uh, where's my torch gone? You can, uh, if you can see on the light, you see the the little line round it, where the two metals are. Don't know if they're fused together, bonded together, or what. But it's that bit. That drops off, that bottom bit that drops off and lands in the in the chamber. I believe that the that the the later version for the two point fives are one piece, so that doesn't tend to happen. But you can't; they don't make them anymore. They only make them for the two point fives, and the, they do the same job. So that's what it'll have, and we'll change this one as well. Like I said, there's nothing really wrong with it. I don't really need to change this one, but we'll change it anyway. So, same process on there. I'm 
up exactly the same process. Don't hit your thumb this time. You know when it starts going because it changes the, the, the tone. See, this one's a stubborn game. Coming. Oh yeah, she's coming. <laughs> Lot of carbon in there. So hopefully, yeah, this is the, the, the this will solve it with a bit of luck. See that one again, there's nothing really wrong with it, I don't think. But we'll change it. Sorry if I get you in the in the view. We'll change it anyway. And uh, yeah, you can see the little roll pin there. That I'd recommend changing. The last thing you want is a hot spot dropping in. Give this a good clean up and I shall uh, come back when the new parts arrive. Hopefully in a couple of days and I'll finish this video and we'll get this back together again. What a nightmare. All because of that. I blinded myself with the torch. All because of all, all because of that. Little shit. And it was just inside, inside the pre-combustion chamber, bouncing around. Obviously the fuel wasn't atomizing properly or burning properly. Hopefully. Well, there can't be anything else left now. <laughs> the whole engine's rebuilt from scratch, so... If there's anything wrong now, it's getting, uh, getting sold to a shipyard and used as a boat anchor. Right, I'll come back to you soon. Just another quick note, uh, it's worth mentioning, is uh, where the, the hot spots, the, the, where, where the injector shroud had fell through. Um, on cylinder uh, three, you can see where it was having trouble burning the fuel. You look at Number four, that's fine. That's had a little mucky water around it, that one, when I've, when I've an oil and stuff when I've done it. But if you look at injector three, you can see it's been struggling to burn the fuel. So, don't ignore these things. They don't go away. Just get it done while the head's in bits. That's from where obviously where it's been stuck and I've I've pulled it up. But yeah, I'll get the bits ordered.